Edible Archives is a culinary project to showcase indigenous varieties of rice from across India that are getting lost. It aims to catalog in individual and collective archives not just the sensory experience of the rice dishes that are served, but also the memories, traditions and stories associated with them. around the idea of rice, right? That there's all these indigenous varieties of rice in India that have uh, no long, that are no longer being grown commercially and they've been replaced by hybrid varieties. So Anumitra and I have actually been traveling for a couple of years together, three years almost, uh, together um, looking, like traveling to various parts and then looking at the rices that are available there and talking to farmers, talking to organizations in, in various states. In all the major rice state growing states, there are organizations that are interested in trying to uh, revive some of these indigenous varieties of rice. Today we are making papaya with uh, this uh, lobia. Uh, it's like a pachari kind of a thing we are making with that. Then banana flour, lentil fritter kind of a thing. And that is like in Gujarat, in Bengal, in uh, Assam, North India, all these places they cook it with this. And um, cottage cheese, uh, cheese like uh, we, make, uh, we made it here, it's like not paneer. We made the chena and kofta of that and then the fish is uh, anchovy, coconut and all like mean pira kind of a thing or uh, toran kind of a thing yeah that with anchovy and mackerel will be fried when the biennale came up um, we wrote a proposal and uh, sent it here saying that uh, we will feature some of the rices and it was while we were talking about how we want to work with the rice etc we, we wound up uh, discussing this with a friend of ours who's doing a phd in history and she said actually what you're doing is archiving so from there we started like fizzing over with ideas and this idea of an edible archive came up that everybody has an edible archive which is uh, which constitutes all the food that you have eaten, all the food you've eaten, all the drinks you've drunk. Um, they are part of your edible archive. But unlike an archive of books or an archive of music, you can't go and pull out that same book or listen to that same tape again. You only have the memory of the food that you've eaten. Even if you eat the same food again, it won't be exactly the same. Um, so what we want to do is talk about how India's collective edible archive at one point used to be very rich in terms of different types of foods, different types of ingredients and it's becoming smaller and smaller as time goes on by having this stall here at the Biennale, this space, it's, it's actually doing multiple things. One is that everyone who comes here and eats here goes away with a richer edible archive and a better idea of what, what food they're eating. Um, the second thing is it's also a kind of a knowledge lab, an experimental space because traditionally what happens is that the rice that is grown in a certain area is eaten in that area, maybe within a 50 kilometers, 100 kilometer range. And there's only a few rices that go out of even the state, right? Um, so uh, this is one place where we have some 25, 30 varieties of rice where chefs from different parts of the country can come and experiment with it. So you have uh, a person from Kerala cooking red rice, not from Kerala, but from Bengal or you have uh, a person from Sri Lanka coming and cooking northeastern black rice. I go to Waipin fish auction to buy fish. That's an amazing experience because all the small uh, boats, they reach and they unload from the boat and I buy it directly. So it's really good. This rice is from Karnataka, Karnataka. And uh, the main thing about this rice is that this rice uh, is very good for diabetic patient. It is not very starchy. It has lot of other nutrition value, but the main thing that is involved, uh, like this thing, this is almost like if you eat it, it will uh, like 
it looks like oats what we try to do instead is to come here and see what is available here and what goes well so whatever is seasonal whatever is local we are working with that so initially we were doing a lot of guacamole because avocados were in season now they are out of season so we've moved on from there right now uh, all these uh, different kinds of jackfruit are coming into season raw mango is in season so not just with the rice but like yesterday we made an anchovy toran with fresh raw mango you know depending on what is in season you use that and you also make it part of your experiment